a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, there was no such thing as physics. But then particles started to form. Some of the tiniest particles we know of are electrons and quarks. But where did these particles come from? First, there's electrons. During the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense soup crowded into one spot. Filling up that spot was a mess of high energy buzzing around, like high energy protons or gamma rays. This is where electrons come from. Take a look at this equation, E equals mc squared. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Well, energy can create mass. When two rays of high energy collide, they are able to create mass. So when two gamma rays collide, they are able to create electrons and anti-electrons. This operation also works backwards, and mass can create energy. When an electron and anti-electron collide, they create gamma rays. This was the process in which electrons were created during the time of the Big Bang. Moving on to quarks. How are quarks formed? Quarks are excitations from quantum or electromagnetic fields, so they basically come out of them. Quarks are like the building blocks of matter. They are the smaller particles that make up most of the known particles. But not as much are known about quarks since they were only discovered around 1964 while the electrons were discovered around 1898. However, there are some things we do know about quarks. For example, the name quarks came from a novel called Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce. Three quarks from Mustard Mark. There are six main types of quarks. Up, down, strange, charm, top, and bottom. Scientists working on the SLAC-MIT experiment, or the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, crashed electrons against protons and neutrons. The electrons bounced off the protons and neutrons, indicating that protons and neutrons are made out of even smaller particles. And finally, six of the particles in the standard model are quarks. Quarks and electrons are inside all of us. What's hard to believe is how quickly they formed. One second they weren't there, and the next they were. What's hard to believe is that the whole universe started with one big bang.